you do with your life. Get your education, boy. Subscribe to A's Online. All right, welcome back to A's Online Virtual Classroom. I am Andre, bringing you another mathematics tip of the day presented by A's Online Tutoring Services. Exam success at your fingertips. So these tips are brought to you by A's Online to help you get your education and prepare for your upcoming exams. So be sure to hit the subscribe button and check out all our previous mathematics tips. And our channel is full with content for those preparing for the primary level exams as well as secondary level. So share it with all your friends, all your family to make sure we're all prepared for upcoming exams. Now today's math tip, where it's sort of a continuation from last week, where we started to look at integers. So last week we added integers and we saw that integers are positive and negative whole numbers so this week we're actually going to subtract and multiply so we're going to go to the smart board today and start with the subtraction and the subtraction is just one major thing for me to point out when there is a double negative it changes to addition so what do i mean by that as you could see here with the four there is a negative in front of the brackets with no number in between and a negative 4. So when you have a negative and a negative clashing like that, it changes to a positive. So the negative 4 is no longer take away negative 4, it is plus 4. So this changes the entire question, changes the question entirely. So let's say we have 6 take away negative 2 this actually changes the question because of the double negative we get 6 no longer take away negative but plus 2 which is equal to 8 alright so if we have a number like I don't know negative 12 take away negative 10 Once there is a double negative, it changes the question. And this is no longer negative 12, take away negative 10. It changes to negative 12 plus 10. And just like we saw last week, when we're adding, now we're adding two integers and the signs are different. So we're going to subtract 12 take away 10 is 2 and put back the sign of the bigger number, negative 2. If you didn't see that last week, if you didn't see last week's tip on how to add these integers, just check out the link on top and that will take you straight to our um, previous video. All right. um, and that's how it works. So once we get the double negative taking place, uh, we will get a change in the question becoming plus. All right. So that is the subtraction of the integers. Take a look at our previous video to see the addition and how it works with the different signs. Now, when it comes to multiplication, it's similar to the addition in that when the signs are the same, the result of the multiplication is positive. So it doesn't matter if we have two positive numbers or two negative numbers, as we can see here. So the example we can do is 2 multiplied by 12. Both positive numbers giving us positive 24, which is what we are accustomed to. But if we have negative 4 times negative 8, 8 multiplied by 4 is 32. And because the two signs are negative signs here and here, then the answer is going to be positive. And as we saw in previous videos, once a number is positive, most times we don't write the sign, we just see the number by itself. So the answer is 24 on top and 32 below. This is for when the signs are the same in both numbers they're multiplying. Sometimes the signs can be different. 
So when you multiply an integers and the signs are different, for example, if you have a positive number and a negative number, or if you have a negative number and a positive number, no matter what order it comes in, the result of the multiplication will be negative. So let's say we have negative 6 times positive 9. Multiply the numbers. 6 times 9 is what? 54. And because the signs are different, one is negative, one is positive, then our answer would have a negative sign. So it's negative 54. If we had positive 10, multiply by negative 8. 8 by 10 is 80. And because we have one sign that is positive and one sign that is negative, the answer would be negative. So this is how integers work. We only have to take a look at next the division which we'll do in another video but these things take you very far in your csec and csc preparation because when it comes down to algebra which you face a lot in secondary level mathematics you have a lot of addition a lot of subtraction of simple numbers and students don't take the time to understand these simple concepts and they get confused. So please take your time, watch the video again, share it with your friends, because you know some of you all have trouble with this. You can double check me on the calculator just to make sure I didn't make any mistakes. If I did make any mistakes, don't be shy to shout me out in the comments and let me know. So that's it for today. Thanks a lot for joining me. I'm Andre. I'm bringing these videos to help you prepare for upcoming exams and um, we know that this year has been a little tough for a lot of people because of the virus exam may get pushed back exam may get postponed so just don't get too fatigued don't get too tired of putting in the preparation and eventually that time will come for you to face the exam and we want to make sure you face your exam with confidence so check out our channel and get your education. I am Andre. I will bring you another math tip next week. What you do with your life? Get your education, boy. Subscribe to A's Online.